Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix and this is a truck. Yes, yes, I realize it is a Chinese truck. CA10 to be exact. I picked this figure up over at AliExpress and this is episode number two of It, it came, came From, from AliExpress. AliExpress. This truck was 25 bucks and it's a big truck that rolls with no problem. Uh, actually, there is a little bit of a problem and that's the table or my review area is very slick. So the wheels aren't getting any purchase, but they do spin with not much effort on the front and the back. It's just screwing up because I think I might've transformed it a little bit incorrectly, but it's a nice little truck. I, I like it quite a bit. It's got the stylings of an early World War II truck and it's very cool, even has gas tanks. It's just really neat. And it hides a giant robot very well. The CA-10 Jfang truck was the first automobile made after the founding of the People's Republic of China. And it was completed at the first automotive works on July 13th, 1956. It was a significant milestone in China's automotive and engineering industries. The best thing I've been able to come up with for size comparison is Legacy Motormaster in truck form. And as you can see, it's just a bit shorter than Motormaster in truck form. But in terms of width, they're practically the same. And obviously Motormaster is much taller at the trailer, but at the cab, the cabs are roughly the same height. This figure comes with two accessories. One is this giant wrench for reasons. And the other is a metal detector, which is weird. I, I don't know if anything's... I can't think of another toy or another transformer or another giant robot thing that actually comes with a metal detector. Very strange, but when he's holding it, it looks like he's holding a giant circular spatula. The truck bed is actually pretty big, and as you can see, it fits a deluxe class transformer pretty well, and there's not much movement for the deluxe class transformer e here e either. Jeez, can't talk right. But yeah, it's, it's a really nifty little truck mode. The only issue I have is that the actual robot legs or hips are right there, there are peg holes that the bed pegs into using those little pegs there, but they're not real tight and getting them lined up and into place sometimes doesn't work all that well, but you still have too much wiggling. There's nothing locking the torso into place or the robot mode's torso into place, which is a shame, but otherwise truck mode's really nice. Now the transformation for the truck mode is a ton of fun. I love this transformation. To start off with, come to the bed and remove it and unpeg it from the hips and then come to the front and split the front of the bed apart and then fold the sides of the bed down Grab the front of the bed, bottom front of the bed, and fold them in like that. Then take the sides we folded down and flip them over those sides. And those will fold into the back and will make room for a cat. And then fold the rear up to form toes. And then take the entire rear bed and flip it around 180 degrees. No, cat, get down. No, don't nuzzle the truck. Get off the review table. Come on, Mr. Paws. Now that the back of the truck is done and we've got some legs, what we're going to do is come to the side of the truck and flip out these doors. And that will then allow us to unpeg the rear of the truck and fold it up on this hinge and reach inside and pull out the arms, fold out the arms and fold out the fists and then flip the front of the vehicle mode open and flip out the head and fold that down. Then we can come to the wheels and pull them away from the body and straighten them out and then turn the shoulders around and then grab the backpack and fold it down and then fold the entire tummy section down like that and peg the head in and then come to the chest or the front of the vehicle mode and slide these out to form the chest. And then the last bit is take the wheels and flip them around so that they are pointing in the correct direction, like so, and we're done. The robot mode we end up with is very well colored. There's silver and gr green and black, and then the face has a nice orange visor and obviously the red star and the silver mouth. 
I like this robot mode, but I like the CA770 that I've already reviewed a lot better. I think it's just a neater figure. And that figure has a less problems than this one does in terms of uh, loose ball joint issues. In terms of height, the green truck is just a smidge taller than the nice limousine. And that also means he's bigger than Leader Class Megatron and Leader Class Megatron. But unlike the car before him, he can ride Leader Class Megatron. But unfortunately, he's too big for the purple chair. Posability wise, head is on a swivel and um, has a tendency to come undone way too easily. Shoulders are interesting because there's a double hinge inside the shoulder for the transformation and then there's the ball joint, but the ball joint is a mess. It's not noodles, but any kind of real weight and the arm just goes flop. There is a bicep swivel and a bend at the elbow for the transformation. No fist articulation. Torso articulation for the transformation. Legs are on ball joints and can't kick forward, can't kick back, and can't get at, kick out that much. And then there is a bend at the knee, though it's not much. You, you only get like 35 degrees there. The figure can hold the wrench with no problem, but the issue I have is those hands are gigantic. I mean, look at that. That hole is huge. You could drive a Minicon through that thing. So that makes holding on to this virtually, well, it's possible, but it doesn't look good. And see, it looks like he's more holding a futuristic tennis racket or a giant spatula rather than, a, I guess, a mind finder or a, a metal detector. It just looks ridiculous. And unfortunately, there is nowhere on the figure to actually store these weapons in either robot or truck mode. The only place you can store them is in the bed of the truck. Overall, the green CA-10 is a less successful figure than the CA-770, and that's just because of the looseness of the joints, and overall, the robot mode isn't nearly as cohesive as the black limousine over here on the right. They're not bad figures by any stretch of the imagination, but if you can only get one, I would pick up CA-770. It's just a better figure, it holds together better well, it poses better, and it looks way cooler. Now, transformation back into vehicle mode is a little bit more tricky than you might think. Yes, you're just going to effectively reverse everything, but the directions are a little bit hard to follow. So start off with by closing up the chest, just like that. Take the backpack and flip it up, which will unpeg the head. Flip the head up and open up the panel flip the head in and then close the panel, then come to the shoulders and take the wheels and turn, rotate them forward until they stop like that. Then take the fists and turn the fists and the lower forearms in and flip the fists up and close the arm so it looks like that. And then that whole assembly will fold back underneath the canopy there and fold in underneath the hood of the vehicle. So again, fold the fist up, turn 90 degrees, fold it in 90 degrees, push the shoulder back and then fold it in until it snaps into place. Then grab the entire top torso and pull it up on this double hinge and fold it down. Now the fists have these little pegs hanging off of them and they'll peg into these two peg holes down here like that. You can then drop the backpack onto these little stubs that are hanging off the back of the robot mode and then fold the doors in and that locks everything into place. Turn the legs around 180 degrees, peg them together, take the feet, flip them down, take the pack panels and fold them out and then flip them forward and do the same thing for the shins like that and peg them into place and then flip these side panels in and they will peg into place and just make sure everything's pegged in correctly and we're done. And as I said, there's nowhere else to put the accessories except in the bed of the truck. Also, as I said, the CA-770 is a much more successful transformer than the CA-10. It's not to say this is a bad figure. I don't think it is. I just like this guy better. So folks, link to buy both of these from the same AliExpress listing is down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these figures down in the comments. I have been Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you all next time.